into another Mustang monologues because I wanted to talk to you. I wanted to know something. So this is like the easiest way for me to do it. Okay. So as if you know, if you have children that are in public school, I live in the state of Georgia. They March of this year, 2020, they shut it down. And when they did that, my, I have two sons, if you're new. My oldest son is an adult in the working world. My youngest son is now in high school. He is a sophomore this year, going into August. When they shut it down in March, they just sent like the whole high school here, you're online now. The catch was they didn't give any instructions. Like there were no Zoom calls for them to watch, like I saw in a lot of younger grades. There was nothing. It was here's your assignment. Figure it out. It's due. Get it done. That is how it was. Fine. He passed and everything, so now he's a sophomore. And I had decided, I'm sure like everyone else, we thought that everything would be back to normal by this school year. <laughs> it's not. And I had originally decided if they were going to make my son go into the school, one, two, expect him to wear a mask day long and that was my only option with public schooling I was pulling him out I was going to homeschool him I've looked up how what I have to do in this state to be able to homeschool so yeah that was that's that's my view on it but what happened is yes they are opening schools on October 3rd in the county I live in in Georgia you can send your child to the school for a normal day they can ride the school bus we're not talking about how these things are getting clean they can ride the school bus they can go into the school like they normally would they can go into lunch like they normally would the only difference is the school bus they are supposed to wipe down any high traffic areas that's it once a week they're gonna like fog the buses um in the classroom they're supposed to try to be six feet apart don't i don't know how in the heck that's supposed to happen and then for lunch you only get half your lunch period now they you go to lunch with again i'm assuming seats are going to be marked off and then the other half of your lunch period is going to study hall so there's that there was also an option for because we're in semester blocks so you could decide to do digital learning for this first semester from August till December and if you chose that in high school you had to commit you have to commit to it from August to December okay but they're using Apex which is a like guided class and there's a teacher that's available at all times. Like, I can do... Get on my exit right. I don't have Cookie Monster no more. I did have some lady yelling at me. And now we're to this guy. We'll see. So, they will have a teacher that is available to them if they need assistance. So, that's good. So, today... I officially signed my youngest son up for digital learning for the first semester of his sophomore year. Sorry. So, what are you doing?
15. He has this little girlfriend. And I think that plays into his answer because he told me he didn't want to be homeschooled, which this child has begged me before to homeschool and I refused. Now, I'm like, hey, we can do it. He's like, no. And I really think that's why. But he also said he needed to be in a classroom with the teacher teaching him. And I know that he did struggle when they were just like, here, here's your work, go do it. Which was dumb to begin with. And if something would have happened, I would have had to, you know, argue with him. Thankfully, it did not. But yeah, so he's only been out of the house once, and that was to go get his hair cut. But that was with me at where I get my hair done, and like, it's one person, it's the hairstylist and you, and that's it. It's not like, it's not like a great clips or any of that. So, I felt okay taking him to that. He needs his hair cut again, but I don't have an appointment anytime soon. I think my next appointment is not until October. I don't know if the boy can wait until October. But, what are you guys doing in the summer? Like, do you have any plans? Did you have a vacation schedule? What happened? I mean, uh, like we're not the ones that typically a week in the summer go on vacation. We went on a week long vacation once, <laughs> my husband and my children. So yeah, that was, that, that's great. But like, I really want to go to Florida. However, before y'all go in the comments and yell at me, I said I want to go. I'm not going because it's ridiculous at the amount of cases that are going on there for everyone being at the beach. So, just because I want to go, I'm not going. And then, Atlanta's mayor has put it, the city back to phase one, wanting businesses to close, which I agree because Georgia is on the list of cases that are, you know, rising, and we're even on the list of, I know some states are requiring if you come there from a certain state, which Georgia is one that has a high um, positive test result, then you have to quarantine in that state for 14 days. Georgia's one of them on some of the list. Like, Oh, and where I work, they do a summer like get together, like we did one at Christmas and one in the summer. I didn't go to the one last summer, and I'm going to the one this summer. One, it's a pool party. I work with a bunch of guys. I'm not comfortable. That's one. Two. But what about social distancing? So myself and one of the other girls in the office, none of the girls in the office are going are trying to get them to not have it because even though we're not going and we're being social responsible what if one of these people get something can't do it can't do it can't do it so let me know in the comments below what do you think how's your what's your school doing what's your vacation let me know guys like I want to all right, I am almost to the house, so I'm gonna let you guys go and I will talk to you in the next video.